Welcome. I'm Claire Martin, President of the Australian Institute of Landscape Architects. On behalf of the AILA Board, I'd like to thank you for joining us for the 2021 National Landscape Architecture Awards. These awards are a great opportunity for us to recognise and celebrate national award winners and nominees from right across Australia. I'd like to start by acknowledging that I'm talking to you from the unceded lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. So let's begin by welcoming you all with this special welcome to country. Yarn Benunuk Kaya Kaya Nanaka Yak, Nanaka Maman Rio and Nijaninwa Nanaka Ye, Nanaka Yerra and Yenin Manana Jura Nijra Wanja Nunaka Ye Buja Malaga Buja, Malaga Murba Buja Wajak Buja Nyunga Buja Manana Wanja Nunuk Manana Jada Wanga Ja Murba Nijra Buja Nanya Wang in Mamanga, Demanga, Wien, Nathan Colonia, and Nalaga, Europe, and Nathan Yenua. Put on calling you at Nunaka Maya, my Nunaka Vijo, and Nunaka, Europe, and Nathan Colonia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's my honor to stand here on behalf of my Mamanga, Demanga, my grandmothers and grandfathers, to welcome you to the land of the Wajok people. I welcome you in the first language of the first people of this country and pay respects and honors to those far away in other countries of this great nation of Australia. Nalaganitin and Yeniba, Kora, Kora, Nanyana Mamaga Demanga, Nalaganitin and Yeniba, Yea, Burdowan, Burdowan, Hala Gulunga, Gulunga, Nijan and Yenin, Burdowan, Nijan and Yeniba, Hala Gulunga, Nuna Gulunga, Nijan and Yenin. This is a land that my family have occupied for thousands of years. It is a land that we occupy today still. It is a land that we will occupy for years to come. My children, my children's children, and yours and your children's children. Living here, Ja Nichen and Yeniwa. Living here as one on the Nichen Akobra Buja on this beautiful land. Mananga Ngu of Nichen and Yeniwa, Yerra, Kolinwa Nichen, Table Yerigan Jettle Garo, Kayab Nichen Akolinwa, Nichen, Yerra, Kolinwa. The way I like to explain my family's belonging to this country is how the water runs through this country. Like our ngup, the bow blood being carried through this country. The land we call our mother, our provider. So it's an honour to come here and be part of this and to welcome you to the Wajok lands. On behalf, like I said, of my mama and god my grandmothers and grandfathers. And I thank you for this opportunity. Before leaving, I'd like to share a song with you, a song that um, comes out of a place we call Katkarap. Uh, commonly known as King's Park. It is a song that's been handed down to my brothers from my father and we share here on gatherings like such to bring uh, safety and driving away bad spirits so good spirits can come in and be part of your evening wherever you may be. <coughs> So thank you ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful evening tonight, congratulations to all the nominees and the winners and uh, safe journeys home to your own homes and families later on, wherever that may be. When we see one another again, we'll talk again then. Thank you. We find ourselves at a unique time in our profession's history. With the convergence of a global pandemic, a climate and biodiversity emergency, treaty and truth-telling, the promise of a green recovery, and the growing appreciation of the contribution of urban green infrastructure to human and ecosystem health, creating unprecedented opportunities. The projects recognised in the AILA National Awards Programme bring social, cultural, economic and environmental benefits to the communities that they are part of. They are exceptional examples and case studies that form the basis of AILA's advocacy to all levels of government. 
They communicate the value of landscape architecture to the communities they are part of, not as projects, but as places, platforms for the public life of our cities and regions. This year's awards program demonstrates the breadth and depth of the Australian profession and reinforces that all scales matter, whether in research, policy, strategy, procurement, planning or design, in education, communication, government and private practice, all scales matter. We are part of a global profession committed to climate action. So beyond the AIDA Awards program, we need to share what we have learned from these projects, the challenges, the opportunities, and importantly, the knowledge. Share with each other within our region and globally to build our profession's capacity to amplify our impact. Thank you all for being part of this year's AILA National Awards program. I wish you on behalf of the board all every success and thank AILA staff for their commitment to making this program possible. Thank you, Claire. My name is Ben Stockman, AILA CEO. Firstly, I would like to pay my respects to the traditional custodians of the land where I am joining from, Bundjalung country in far northern New South Wales. The AILA Landscape Architecture Awards program provides a key vehicle for the promotion of the achievements of the work of landscape architects in Australia. The awards process is an opportunity for public and peer recognition of landscape architecture's work and demonstrates to industry, business, government, and to the wider community, the positive impact the profession has on Australian lives through the planning and design of the built and natural environments. Once again, AILA has received a record number of submissions across Australia. We thank all the practices who took the time to submit. It is now more important than ever to showcase the profession and the importance of quality open space, green infrastructure and active transport. I would like to personally thank our national corporate partners for making the award possible. Street Furniture Australia. Lawn Solutions Australia. Christie Barbecues. Proludic. ACCO Australia, Brickworks Building Products, Marsh and the Built Environment Channel. I would now like to introduce Peter Marie Ashford, AILA's Vice President and 2021 National Jury Chair. I would like to start by paying my respect to the local Indigenous Wadjuk people of the Noongar Nation, the traditional custodians of the land where I am recording from. The past 18 months have certainly reminded the broader community of what our profession has always known, the irrefutable value of green spaces in strengthening community correct connectedness and maintaining mental and physical wellbeing. This year's diverse award entrants demonstrate the leading role that landscape architects play in delivering innovative responses to complex issues and making positive contributions to our regions and cities. The variety of submissions illustrates the passion and drive of our AILA members to influence the way we work, live and play. Many of the awarded projects display a deliberate effort to facilitate environmental stewardship while delivering exemplar design outcomes. It is inspiring to observe green infrastructure being embedded in projects as the norm. In a time of increasing urbanisation and climate variation, these projects demonstrate sensitive, considered and ambitious responses to repairing and improving natural systems unique to the Australian landscape. The jury applauds the continued journey with traditional owners with many practices developing Indigenous-led design approaches. More than simply interpretation and dialogue, these approaches represent a living history looking to the future while respectfully acknowledging the past. Inserting contemporary and living history sensitively into the design is part of our journey to cultural sustainability. These projects set new benchmarks as we continue to build knowledge as a profession. One shift observed this year was the altered definition of a garden, with projects not traditionally associated with this category being considered. We see elements of the garden being applied in novel ways in recognition of the mental and physical well-being that green infrastructure provides. It has been a privilege to chair the 2021 AILA National Landscape Architecture Awards Jury, and I thank and acknowledge my fellow jurors, Barry Barton, De Dennis Azeel, Tessa Lego, Jen Lynch, Tara Milroy and Mark St Paul and AILA staff Georgie Shreer and Gemma Fisher for making the process such a positive and energising one. Collectively, we believe that the standard of awarded works sets an exciting precedent for built outcomes now and into the future. 
Demonstrating leadership and advocacy for approaches outside of the norm, the awarded recipients have succeeded in enhancing local landscapes so that they are an impetus for greater wellbeing and shared understanding within the community. To all the entrants, thank you for inspiring us through exceptional design and sincere congratulations to all our award winners. Ayla Awards provide recognition of exceptional practice. The receipt of an award is confirmation of talent and a commitment to design excellence. Ayla's national awards are a two-tier system. The first and highest award in each category is the award of excellence. There is only one winner of the award in each category in one year and the jury is not obliged to make an award of excellence in a category. The second tier is the Landscape Architecture Award. This is a work of excellence demonstrating consummate skill that contributes to the advancement of landscape architecture. Multiple landscape architecture awards may be awarded in the one category. I hope you enjoy the broadcast from wherever you may be and good luck to all national nominees. It's now time for the 2021 National Landscape Architecture Awards. Enjoy. The first category to be announced is Tourism. The national nominees are... The jury has awarded two National Landscape Architecture Awards and one National Award of Excellence in this category. The first 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Tourism goes to Summerland Farm by Plummer & Smith with DFJ Architects. The project creates a wonderfully successful place of inclusion where people with disabilities are central to a farm's operation. The design has created an interactive, family-friendly activity park that provides both tourism and employment opportunities for the local region. The project offers an insight into the regional identity as a visitor attraction. The design response has evolved out of an understanding of the relationship between the site and its context. The resulting campus provides a sensitive and passive landscape and is an excellent example of how a tourism project might be integrated with a working farm. The farm creates jobs and benefits the local economy using landscape as a tool. The second Landscape Architecture Award goes to Cradle Mountain Visitors Centre by Play Street in collaboration with Cumulus Studios. The Cradle Mountain Visitors Centre provides an outstanding visitor arrival experience to one of Tasmania's most valued natural wilderness destinations and an impressive gateway to the state's Wilderness World Heritage Area. The project interprets the narrative of the site through a bold landscape design and sensitive plantings of slow-growing alpine vegetation. The project takes a considered approach to planting design in a protected alpine context, with the outcome resulting in minimal negative impacts to what was a previously disturbed site. The design of the public realm creates an appropriate sense of place and a legible experience for the visitor. As visitors approach the centre, they are drawn into the story of the landscape through plantings of native flora and landscape features that subtly reference aspects of the surrounding ancient landscape. The final award in this category is an award of excellence. Please welcome Ben Stockwin, the CEO of the Australian Institute of Landscape Architects, to announce the award. The winner of a National Award of Excellence in Tourism goes to Kaju Yakta, the Kalbarri Skywalk, Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions. Congratulations. This striking project encapsulates two spectacular lookouts projecting out over the rim of the Murchison Gorge. The highly successful outcomes of this work include the creation of site-specific and cultural interpretations of art with Nanda traditional owners and artists. 
The lookouts, while technically heavy pieces of infrastructure, nonetheless still look and feel light, a result of an exceptional design effort and innovative thinking. The design marries structural and landscape design to create an experience that is light to look and touch, and entwined with deep cultural storytelling and cultural messaging by the Nanda people. The project encourages longer visits to the region through the provision of safe and comfortable visitor gathering areas and access ways. The project delivers a key tourism focal point within a national park that offers a highly memorable experience of the cultural, visual and natural environments and will encourage visitation to the area for many years to come. Congratulations to all the award winners. The next category to be announced is Play Spaces, supported by Proludic. The national nominees are... The jury has awarded two National Landscape Architecture Awards and one National Award of Excellence in this category. The first 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Play Spaces goes to Bradbury Park Scooter Track by Form Landscape Architects and Brisbane City Council. Bradbury Park Scooter Track caters for the transitioning of skill development and confidence for beginner skate, scooter and bike riders. While seemingly simplistic in form, the technical aspects of the design are subtle, nuanced and well resolved. In a gender balanced environment, the design encourages children to be outdoors and to exercise in a meaningful, playful and original way. The next National Landscape Architecture Award goes to The Sales Ring Playground by Arcadia Landscape Architecture. The Newmarket Sail Ring once played a central role in the life of the Newmarket Racecourse. Arcadia have honoured the site's heritage and repurposed the central sails ring structure, restoring its prominence by transforming it into the central play element of a broader, themed play space within this residential precinct. This play space is not about sitting on the edges. Rather, the play elements draw the visitor in. Imaginative play is stimulated through public art which builds on the site's historical and present-day narrative. The final award in this category is an Award of Excellence. Please welcome Tessa Lego, one of Ayla's National Jury Members, to announce the award winner. The winner of the National Award of Excellence for Play Spaces is... Deep Creek Eco Play by Place with Agency of Sculpture. Congratulations. Deep Creek EcoPlay celebrates play experiences that are challenging, imaginative and inclusive. The project embodies an important progression in terms of how we approach play-space design. The project approaches equitable design not just by providing separate opportunities for play, but by developing a holistic approach that opens up opportunities for personal liberation. The strength of the project lies in its rich consultation process and deep understanding of how to design play opportunities for all abilities. Congratulations and thank you to Proludic for your support in this category.
The second category to be announced is Landscape Planning. The nominees are The jury has awarded two National Landscape Architecture Awards. The first 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Landscape Planning goes to a manual for evaluating the visual impact of pumped hydro energy storage by inspiring place with assistance from Intura. Defining landscape, its importance and how to evaluate its worth with appropriate sensitivity. The manual clearly articulates how to identify and recognise view types and landscape value for preliminary landscape assessment work. The project scope included education on its application as a tool for a large infrastructure company. The potential of this manual extends beyond its current tenure. Its ability to provide an understanding of early mitigation opportunities and the impact of projects that change a landscape is easily transferable to any project. The jury applauds the initiative of the designers in proactively promoting the role of the landscape architect within this infrastructure industry. The next National Landscape Architecture Award in Landscape Planning goes to Suburb Improvement Program Review, Greening Onkaparinga by City of Onkaparinga. A suburb improvement program often starts with an honest self-assessment. Through its early findings, the City of Onkaparinga identified that areas with low canopy cover and an increased urban heat island effect are more often linked to social vulnerability, where households are less likely to have cars and are more dependent on the walkability of their streets. This project speaks volumes about the value the city places on the health and well-being of its most vulnerable constituents and its belief in the value of greener suburbs. Congratulations to the award winners in landscape planning. The next category to be announced is Infrastructure. Supported by ACO Australia. The nominees are The jury has awarded two National Landscape Architecture Awards and one National Award of Excellence in this category. The first 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Infrastructure goes to Reimagining Your Creek by Realm Studios with Alluvium Consulting and E2 Design Lab. This body of interrelated work carried out across an interconnected landscape creates channelised waterways for viability and sustainability in creek naturalisation, socially, economically and environmentally. Simple and bold, the project integrates the landscape exceptionally well within the local context. It is an exemplar in its provision of an appropriate level of intervention and design for surrounding communities and how they interact with the completed waterways. The work displays an understanding of how to develop sustainable watercourses that allow nature's intrinsic qualities to return, 
while coexisting with people. The second National Landscape Architecture Award goes to CBD and Southeast Light Rail, New South Wales, by Aspect Studios with Grimshaw and the City of Sydney, on behalf of Transport for New South Wales, supported by Randwick City Council. This new mass public transport system is integrated with a 12 kilometre linear public domain upgrade in the heart of Sydney, creating an urban corridor of high quality and amenity. The landscape architect has been instrumental in enhancing the city fabric so that each section through which the light rail passes responds to its context. Communities are provided with pedestrian focused infrastructure along the route and at each of the precincts that it connects. Elements include movable or reprogrammable planter boxes. Functioning as safety devices, they divide spaces gently and guide people, equally and comfortably, on a monumental scale. Street trees have also been incorporated along the entirety of the line. The final award in this category is an award of excellence. Please welcome Dennis Eisel, one of Ayla's national jury members, to announce the award winner. The winner of a national award of excellence in infrastructure is Pacific Highway Upgrade by ACOM, Arup, CM Plus, Context. Corkery Consulting with Studio Colin Polwife, DEM, Design Inc. Environmental Partnership, HBO and EMTB, Hassel, Jackson Teese, KI Studio, Spackman Moss of Michaels, Tract and the Centre for Urban Design. Congratulations. In this legacy project that has been undertaken over a 24 year period, the landscape architect has been instrumental in the delivery of sustainable outcomes associated with the planning, design and implementation of the 675 kilometre duplication of the highway between Hexham, New South Wales and the Queensland border. The sustainable outcomes have been exceptional and include the provision of an important connection to country and the creation of an environmentally sensitive and responsive landscape. Social and environmental outcomes include the minimising of visual impacts, the provision of rest areas and parks, the integrated design of bridges, tunnels and walls, and the maximising of landscape spatial qualities such as soils, planting and seeding. These measures have significantly improved the design and created an outstanding outcome for both the community and the stakeholders. Congratulations and thank you to ACO Australia for your support in this category. The next category to be announced is Small Projects. The nominees are... The jury has awarded one National Award of Excellence in this category. Please welcome Peter Marie Ashford, Ayla's 2021 National Jury Chair, to announce the winner. The winner of the National Award of Excellence in Small Projects is Albert Park Office and Depot by Open Work and Christina Silk Office for Planting. Congratulations. Albert Park Office and Depot provides a new base for the caretakers of the park and the wider region for Parks Victoria. A masterfully conceived and detailed interplay between the landscape and architecture helps to blend the building into the park grounds. It creates a building that is clearly of the park where the boundaries between inside and outside 
and public and private are blurred. The architecture is cleverly articulated to provide a diversity of habitats and favourable microclimates for planting and people. A variety of planting forms are successfully applied for passive climate control, while still allowing for visual permeability. The endemic species strategy contributes to increased biodiversity and showcases native flora. The next category to be announced is Gardens, supported by Lawn Solutions Australia. The nominees are The jury has awarded four National Landscape Architecture Awards and won Award of Excellence in this category. The first 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Gardens goes to Salt Wind Garden by Oxygen. This little garden is celebrated for its big spirit and deep connection to landscape and place. Composed of native plants and locally sourced materials, the garden exists in harmony with the patterns of the sun, the wind, and the changing seasons. It challenges preconceived notions of residential gardens as empty assemblages of parts with limited connections to place or appreciation of the value of ecosystem services. Here instead, carefully considered garden rooms are curated to relate to the landscape and dwelling in different ways offering a range of immersive experiences in this coastal setting. The second 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award goes to Lucent by Form Landscape Architects. From its broader urban design response through to the smallest landscape detailing, Lucent demonstrates the value that landscape architects can bring to all stages of a project when involved from the outset. Collaboration with the local council and consultants has resulted in full perimeter activation, with blurred building edges creating verdant, multifunctional spill-out spaces that positively interact with the public realm. The split roof awnings are a wonderful innovation for this environment, supporting cascading and climbing plants while drawing sunlight and air into the ground level retail spaces. The next 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award goes to Coogee Common by Seed Design Studio. Coogee Common is a productive food garden established to provide fresh supplies for the new bar and restaurant of the historic Coogee Hotel. However, the design goes beyond this purpose to serve the local community as an attractive destination garden that revives the relevance of the hotel within the neighbourhood. A thoughtful, practical design resolution allows budget to be spent where it matters. The sloped site is terraced to maximise yield, and salvaged mature fruit trees and vines have been brought in as windbreaks to mitigate the coastal site conditions. The grounds provide an attractive backdrop to the hotel, with strong visual connections into the landscape. The fourth 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in this category goes to Coastal Woodland Garden by Robin Barlow Design. The coastal woodland garden masterfully blends and embeds the site's residents by composing a flowing landscape layer that works with the existing mature gums and complements the challenging terrain. A masterful composition of textures and colours creates a sequence of intriguing and evocative vistas, with the building and pool merging seamlessly into the landscape. The landscape architect collaborated closely with the client and the local nursery to prioritise Indigenous planting 
interspersed with selected exotic species. Contributing both biodiversity and interest, this strategy works well with the coastal microclimate and heavy clay soils. The final award in this category is an award of excellence. Please welcome Ben Stockwin, the CEO of the Australian Institute of Landscape Architects, to announce the award. The winner of a national award of excellence in gardens is the Phoenix Gallery by 360 Degree Landscape Architects. Congratulations. Phoenix Central Park Gallery demonstrates a harmonious integration of nature, sculpture and space. The maturity of the design is revealed in the artistic and restrained yet bold selection of species to create interest and drama through the interplay between form, texture and lighting. Both courtyards demonstrate how multifunctional spaces can play host to a range of programmatic requirements without compromising their integrity as calming, tranquil places that can be enjoyed equally by individuals or groups. The roof garden highlights Sydney's diverse species range and proves that a xerophytic landscape need not be devoid of interest or softness. The courtyard garden takes advantage of its microclimate to introduce a much needed green balance and an immediate sense of calm to the main entrance. The project is a testament to the collaboration between the consultants and the beautiful example of how landscape, architecture and art can be seamlessly interconnected to create an outcome that is greater than the sum of its parts. Congratulations and thank you to Lawn Solutions Australia for your support in this category. The people who created Sir Walter are revolutionising the turf industry. Lawn Solutions Australia. Aussie turf farmers creating beautiful greener environments across our country. Guaranteed premium turf varieties, lawn solution centres, advice and lawn care products. Lawn Solutions Australia, setting new standards in turf. The next category to be announced is land management. The nominees are... The jury has awarded one National Landscape Architecture Award and one National Award of Excellence in this category. The 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Land Management goes to Ellendale by Place Design Group. An exemplar project. Ellendale highlights the results of an improved approach and practice in the context of suburban residential development. It showcases the positive influence of landscape-led design solutions in a traditionally infrastructure-focused environment. The jury was impressed by the value placed on retaining topography and existing vegetation and the commitment to rehabilitation of identified park linkages. The ongoing fauna management and rehabilitation highlights the ecological priority placed on environmental health. The final award in this category is an award of excellence. Please welcome Barry Barton, one of AILA's national jury members, to announce the award winner. The winner of the national award in land management is the Lalangadam Marine Park Visitor Plan by Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions. Congratulations. The Lalangadam Marine Park Visitor Plan sets a benchmark for partnerships with key stakeholders in visitation management of the remote Kimberley Coast to ensure sustainable and culturally appropriate tourism. The plan proactively strategizes the complex balance between land, people and tourism. The Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions heavy investment in mapping and understanding the values of the Dumbimangadi people, while remaining considerate of all stakeholders, has resulted in a clearly articulated map for culturally sensitive, respectful future access and use. The leadership role of the landscape architect is outstanding and deserving of the Award of Excellence. Congratulations to the award winners in land management. The next category to be announced is Parks and Open Space, supported by Street Furniture Australia. The national nominees are...
the jury has awarded two National Landscape Architecture Awards and one National Award of Excellence in this category. The first 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Parks and Open Space goes to Tullamore Southern Gully Reserve by MDG Landscape Architects. Tullamore Southern Gully Reserve feels like an established suburban community asset as the retention of the existing trees has allowed this parkland to have the character of a much older site. The leadership qualities of the landscape design team have resulted in a high quality, people-centric outcome. The project is notable for its sensitive treatment of topography and the integration of water quality and overland flow issues sets this project apart from more conventional developments. The multitude of different recreational opportunities within the reserve extends its value to the community. The next National Landscape Architecture Award in Parks and Open Space goes to Binner Parkland by Ecoscape. Our best public facilities are inclusive and accessible. This project demonstrates a strong engagement process that intentionally strove to include as much of the community as possible. A clear focus on meaningful engagement led to the identification of culturally appropriate design opportunities. Workshops and collaborations with Wadjuk Northside and the city's culturally and linguistically diverse community, as well as students from North Bulga Primary School and Bulga Senior High School have set this project up to be of huge benefit to the community. Through their process, the designers have helped to foster a sense of ownership over the space by the community and created a local asset that is as diverse in the opportunities it provides as it is beautiful. The final award in this category is an award of excellence. Please welcome Jen Lynch, one of Ayla's national jury members, to announce the award winner. The winner of a National Award of Excellence in Parks and Open Space is Riverside Green South Bank Parklands by Hassel. Congratulations. Riverside Green provides a completely new offering within an iconic destination. The project sits within South Bank's highly trafficked waterfront area, but does not compete with or overshadow surrounding attractions. The project is a stunningly elegant approach to reimagining the site that demonstrates a clever spatial resolution. Each part of the design has its own character and intent. The river lawn is a spacious setting that is always in demand. The rainforest deck and pavilion offers an equitable and programmable space perfectly shaded for the climate. The rainforest supports the site's subtropical character and the grotto provides a sunken seasonally dynamic treasure. The designers have succeeded in creating an elegant, coherent project that is greater than the sum of its parts. Congratulations, and thank you to Street Furniture Australia for your support in this category. The next category to be announced is Cultural Heritage. The nominees are... The jury has awarded two National Landscape Architecture Awards and one National Award of Excellence in this category. The first 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Cultural Heritage goes to Wangaril Darung 
by Realm Studios with Paul Thompson, E2 Design Lab, Vicky Cousins, Gresley Abbas, Greg Burgess and Philip Chun. Wangaral Durung, an Aboriginal place in Aboriginal hands, is a place of regenerative processes, culture and healing of country and of community. This free-flowing, grounded design of naturally connected spaces shows no need for direction other than intuition. Guided by an understanding of the coexistence between people and country, the sacredness of water, and a need to reclaim place as integral to identity, Wangaral Darung is a wonderful outcome. As a community heart, it is alive, breathing and drinking as we all are, and it is recognised as a beautiful example of cultural sustainability. The next 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in this category goes to Fairbridge Children's Park by Clouston Associates. Delicate yet powerful, Fairbridge Children's Park is an emotive journey of interpretation and living memory, curated through light touches, seamless planting, materiality, art and signage installations. The site lends itself to travellers and community, providing a place for rest and reflection, and opportunities to connect to the stories associated with a sad past, but a bright future. In its understanding of the ways that history, memories and experiences shape lives, the design is revealing and captivating. Fairbridge Children's Park is an example of landscape architecture's ability to contribute to healing and the reconciliation process. The final award in this category is an award of excellence. Please welcome Mark St. Paul, one of Ayla's national jury members, to announce the award winner. The winner of a national award of excellence in cultural heritage is Gajali by Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions. Congratulations. Situated on the Burra Peninsula in Marajuga National Park, Nanjeli seamlessly weaves together cultural expression with a deep knowledge of the site. The project is a remarkable example of collaboration between disciplines and demonstrates how scientific knowledge can be mixed with traditional knowledge to achieve a design outcome that is respectful, contemporary, sensitive and durable. The project overcomes the many challenges of its remote location and enables and encourages access while respecting the sensitive nature of the site and its significance for the Nanda people. The design enhances the area's particular sense of place and allows visitors and locals to connect to the phenomena of the landscape during their visit. The jury commends the approach of using minimal infrastructure and interventions that emphasise and give expression to the landscape's natural forms, while ensuring their protection and preservation for future generations. The result is a stunning, jointly managed project that is considered complex and striking. Congratulations to the award winners in cultural heritage. The next category to be announced is Community Contribution, supported by Marsh. The nominees are... The jury has awarded one National Landscape Architecture Award and one National Award of Excellence in this category. The 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Community Contribution goes to Mission Australia Days Courtyard by Emerge Associates and LD Total. This project has transformed the neglected courtyard of a youth drug and alcohol withdrawal unit into a safe and healing space, demonstrating the impressive impact a small project can achieve and the leadership role landscape architects can play in delivering charitable work. The jury was impressed with the design's thoughtful responses to the various constraints posed by the project. Limited budget, small size of space, and a range of maintenance and safety requirements. In meeting these challenges, the landscape team demonstrated sensitivity and strategic thinking from the earliest stages of the design process through the project's construction. 
overall, the project demonstrates ways that practices can step outside of their usual scope to extend our range of impact as a profession. The final award in this category is an award of excellence. Please welcome back Tessa Lego, one of AILA's national jury members, to announce the award winner. The winner of the National Award of Excellence for Community Contribution is... Inglenooks by 4 Landscape Studio. Congratulations. This project demonstrates the transformative outcomes that can be achieved through creative and authentic collaborations between landscape architects and local communities. Inglenooks comprises two small pocket parks and a connecting footpath. Despite its small scale, the project demonstrates significant strategic thinking and impact. The jury commends the project's innovative approach to engagement. Throughout the design process and through its constructed outcomes, the project has formed a high level of community investment in the precinct and formed a range of new connections within the Inglewood community. The project also demonstrates leadership in its innovative approaches to funding and in its overall framing as an advocacy initiative, promoting further council investment in community landscapes and the leadership of landscape architects. Congratulations and thank you to Marsh for your support in this category. The next category to be announced is Civic Landscape. The nominees are... The jury has awarded one National Landscape Architecture Award and one National Award of Excellence in this category. The 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Civic Landscape goes to Station Street Mall Frankston by Site Office and City of Frankston. This project is a beautiful refurbishment of Frankston Station Street Mall. Its careful consideration of minor and major constraints fine detailing and opportunistic creativity all contribute to this clever piece of water-sensitive urban design. Brilliant elements, such as the central connecting swale and non-prescriptive spaces, combined with a wonderfully designed and executed timber decking and soft lighting, provide the industry with a great civic design precedent and give Frankston locals and visitors a special space to enjoy. The final award in this category is an award of excellence. Please welcome back Dennis Eisel, one of AILA's National Jury Members, to announce the award winner. The winner of a National Award of Excellence in Civic Landscape is Fish Lane Town Square by RPS. Congratulations. Fish Lane Town Square reinstates the ability for underutilised urban and heavily infrastructure focused spaces to become vibrant and ecologically interesting, beneficial to the public and supportive of local businesses. The project was recognised by the jury as a standout project for a number of reasons, including best practice client and stakeholder engagement, its collaborative design process, and the delivery of a grounding, lost landscapes narrative that was implemented through the planting of more than 3,500 low light tolerant species, while considering and maintaining local character within a complex project. 
RPS Group has provided user groups with a truly unique green space that offers varied experiences and elevates landscape architecture. Congratulations to the award winners in Civic Landscape. The next category to be announced is Research Policy and Communications, supported by Built Environment Channel. The national nominees are... The jury has awarded two National Landscape Architecture Awards and one National Award of Excellence in this category. The first 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Research Policy and Communications goes to Guide to Green Building Elements by LAT27 for Brisbane City Council, City Planning and Economic Development Branch. This comprehensive report responds to the rising incorporation of green building elements, green walls, green roofs, and terrace planters in new developments and forms a valuable design and advocacy resource for the profession and councils alike. By providing thinking around the design, technical and regulatory aspects of these elements, as well as metrics for evaluating their benefits and risks, the document offers an invaluable tool for designers who wish to develop and promote better approaches to vertical, rooftop and podium landscapes. For local councils, these materials enable more effective assessment of green building elements and identify opportunities to support more extensive and successful incorporation into cities. The next 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award goes to Place Value Ashfield by To and Fro Studio and Daniel Jan Martin. This design-based research project explores the leadership landscape architects can provide to medium-density infill projects, using one of Perth's inner-city suburbs as its testing ground. While the landscape scope of infill projects is typically minimal and understood on a site-by-site -site basis, this project brings landscape from periphery to foreground, exploring the site, precinct and suburb scale opportunities introduced by this shift. The project demonstrates leadership in all aspects of the project, through the landscape-led design outcomes developed, through the landscape architect-led collaboration and coordination approaches across the project's multidisciplinary team, and through the research and advocacy material the project has generated. Overall, the project responds to the gap it identifies with creativity and rigour, providing useful knowledge, tools and precedent to the profession. The final award in this category is an Award of Excellence. Please welcome back Peter Marie Ashford, the 2021 National Jury Chair, to announce the award winner. The winner of the National Award of Excellence in Research Policy and Communication is LXRP Indigenous Design Guidelines by Level Crossing Removal Project. Congratulations. The LXRP Indigenous Design Guidelines introduce a new dimension to the thinking around infrastructure in Victoria and form a valuable Indigenous-led design and advocacy resource for Australian designers. The guidelines recast infrastructure as spaces that can express and support culture and promote landscape architects' role in developing Indigenous-led design approaches and outcomes. Concise but comprehensive, the document provides guidance around meaningful collaboration with traditional owners throughout the design process and around the respectful integration of Aboriginal knowledge and culture into the built environment. These best practice approaches are presented clearly and illustrated by local precedents, forming a valuable resource that is transferable to other disciplines and project types. The document's communication is clear and accessible to non-design audiences 
making them a powerful advocacy tool. Overall, the guidelines provide a document that has been missing in the profession and set a preliminary benchmark to learn and build from. Congratulations and thank you to Built Environment Channel for your support in this category. The Built Environment Channel is a media platform to support the architecture and construction industry. It means that we can connect with a whole lot of people outside our office, all around the world, all day, any time. You receive a premium screen which silently broadcasts your work, inspiring examples of great design and important industry news. All of this is at no cost to you. For us it's really about no more scrolling through endless content. It's literally front and centre for everyone here at K2LD. The next category up is international. The 2021 nominees are... The jury has awarded two National Landscape Architecture Awards and one National Award of Excellence in this category. The first 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in International goes to Colma Creek Climate Adaptation Planning by Hassel. This project develops a climate adaptation strategy for an urban creek in South San Francisco that expands the creek's hydrological capacity, its environmental role, and its system of access. The project's acknowledgement of the local community's active role in the site's ecology and the way it has developed engagement strategies to build stronger, ongoing ties between the community and the creek, set it apart from other projects of a similar nature. Over an 18-month period, the designers developed innovative engagement approaches that responded to the diversity of cultures languages and ages within the community. These ranged from organising walks along the creek and other public events to the development of educational resources and the creation of a multilingual children's book about the site that was widely distributed. The next National Landscape Architecture Award in International goes to Zichong Coast Recovery Plan by Hassel. This speculative proposal provides a holistic approach to a coastal tourism region near Shenzhen that is impacted by climate change. Negotiating environmental, economic, social and cultural aspects of the region through a long-term, multifaceted and multi-scalar strategy. The project is underpinned by a strong reading of the site's ecology and an exploration of how new infrastructures and tourist facilities can shape more resilient landscape systems. Collaborating with an engineer, the landscape team has developed hybrid approaches to infrastructure that support tourism while defending the coastline against typhoons. The jury commends the proposal's critique of the region's existing tourist economy and the alternative approach developed, which involves community management of the local industry and the landscapes that support it. The final award in this category is an award of excellence. Please welcome back Mark St. Paul, one of AILA's National Jury Members, to announce the award. The winner of a National Award of Excellence in International is... Nayara Tented Camp by Vida Master Planning and Design. Congratulations. This project demonstrates the ecological impacts and striking experiential outcomes made possible by the leadership of landscape architects in the ecotourism space. The landscape team weaves a strong appreciation for site and ecology through all aspects of the brief, which introduces a new resort to an eight hectare former agricultural site in Costa Rica. At all phases and scales of the project, 
the design responds sensitively to context. At a large scale, it balances the requirements of the resort with a comprehensive reforestation strategy, extending an existing sloth sanctuary. At a site scale, a well-researched planting strategy establishes habitat corridors and privacy for guests. At a small scale, details incorporate local volcanic geology to stunning effect in a series of terraced thermal pools. The work demonstrates leadership beyond the project itself, forming part of the landscape team's longer-term advocacy for the more widespread use of native flora. Congratulations to the award winners! The next category to be announced today is Health and Education Landscape, supported by Christy Barbecues. The nominees are... The jury has awarded three National Landscape Architecture Awards and one National Award of Excellence in this category. The first 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Health and Education Landscape goes to Hillbrook Anglican School Campus Redevelopment by V Design. The new heart of Hillbrook Anglican School is a considered and intricately detailed project the design language flows through the space, unifying the differing levels and binding it as a place of community. Each connection that allows passage also ties the buildings together. Each level that is created also provides niches and spaces that welcome the students. The school's values have been woven into the landscape's form and function. And the articulation of these values has resulted in an environment that balances comfort and opportunity for interaction delicately softened with thoughtful plantings. This is a diverse landscape that celebrates the learning environment. The next Landscape Architecture Award goes to Bilya Mali by UDLA. The Cultural Narrative, a place of learning by the river, is an articulation of the beauty and balance found within this landscape, providing a forum for further learning as well as an example of what can be learned if we allow ourselves to be a part of the landscape. By balancing the value of the building and the landscape, the development of Bilya Mali, the University of Western Australia's new School of Indigenous Studies, has followed an Indigenous method of design. The Mari and Jarra trees, which predate the campus, are considered a family, and the removal or damage of any family members was not considered viable. This led to an authentic landscape-first approach. With the landscape flowing into the form of the building and the site oriented to physically and visually connect to the river, this project feels at home here. The third Landscape Architecture Award goes to Albert Park College Senior Campus by Site Office. Just as the school's campus has grown into this space, the landscape has grown to support the physical and emotional well being of the students. The strong and simple narrative of cultivated native grass which references Indigenous land management practices and grows seed stock for future plantings, sets the basis for this stunning landscape. The soft grasses hover lightly, surrounding those walking through each connected space. 
the designer worked responsively within tree protection zones to enable the retention of mature trees, which provide depth of character to the site. This is a sophisticated project and a composition of compelling, bold, beautifully detailed ideas. The final award in this category is an award of excellence. Please welcome back Barry Barton, one of Ayla's national jury members, to announce the award winner. The winner of a national award in excellence for health and education and landscape is the Surgical Treatment and Rehabilitation Service, STARS and Public Realm, hosting quarter by Hassel. Congratulations. This is a brave and significant landscape. Lush and intense planting fills the spaces generously, supporting therapeutic principles and biophilic design by relieving the senses of patients and medical workers. The Hurston Quarter has benefited greatly from these works, articulated as a series of intimate spaces that combine into one cohesive and bold vision. The iconic Spanish steps effectively connect the facilities across a major level change and provide a strong visual presence. An exemplary project, the landscape is so deeply integrated with the hardscapes of the built environment that the result is simultaneously dramatic and sensitive. Congratulations, and thank you to Christie Barbecues for your support in this category. At Christie, we place people at the centre of everything that we do. That's why all our products are safe, simple to use, and easy to clean and maintain. Our public barbecues offer convenient, environmentally friendly outdoor activity for the entire community to enjoy. Engineered for the demands of public use, they promote healthy outdoor living and social interaction while providing the very best cooking experience. The next category to be announced is Urban Design, supported by Brickworks Building Products. The nominees are... The jury has awarded two National Landscape Architecture Awards and one National Award of Excellence in this category. The first 2021 National Landscape Architecture Award in Urban Design goes to Logan Central Civic and Community Precinct Plan by Logan City Council and Archipelago. The designers of Logan Central Civic and Community Precinct Plan have undertaken an in-depth research and engagement process to create a proposal that benefits existing communities. The plan outlines key strategies for place activation, promoting sustainability, creating green networks, and nurturing social well-being. Connections are made between the site's broader context and the local place vision, and key moves in the plan set up achievable goals. The project provides clear guidance for the future staging and prioritising of projects within the plan and demonstrates the many benefits of involving landscape architects in master planning work. The second Landscape Architecture Award goes to Caloundra Main Street Urban Revitalisation by Sunshine Coast Council. The jury recognises Caloundra Main Street Urban Revitalisation for exhibiting the rare and valued qualities of progressiveness, innovation and creativity. As Australia's first smart city urban streetscape demonstration and testing facility, the project deserves considerable acknowledgement. But for a project to remain playful while staying true to place is what makes this project truly successful. 
the design has created a vibrant, green and community-focused place that demonstrates a strong process of design development. The final award in this category is an award of excellence. Please welcome back Jen Lynch, one of Ayla's national jury members, to announce the award winner. The winner of a national award of excellence in urban design is... Design King William by City of Unley with Outer Space Landscape Architects and BMD Group. Congratulations. In terms of its aim of creating a more beautiful street, Design King William has undoubtedly succeeded with a significant amount of new street trees and planting, additional pedestrian safety and comfort outcomes, technical innovations and improved functionality. King William Road in inner city Adelaide now shines as a main street. In awarding this project, the jury acknowledges the rigorous and collaborative process which has thoughtfully responded to the interests and ideas of stakeholders and the local community. Design King William stands out as an inspiring example of civic design and a great community achievement that is notable for the journey undertaken by all involved. Congratulations, and thank you to Brickworks Building Products for your support in this category. Throughout the past 110 years, the face of building materials has continued to evolve. We're here for a lifetime of living. More than brick, and more than just building products. We are a foundation for today's lifestyle and a leader for today's style. We manufacture a wide range of building products. Products like no other. Beautiful products that stand the test of time. This is Brickworks. The next category to be announced is Regional Achievement. This is a cross-category award given in recognition of landscape architecture that has made a significant difference to improving the healthy communities and or built and natural environments of regional Australia. This is the first time Chapter Regional Achievement Award winners progressed into the national awards. The 2021 nominees are... The jury has awarded four Regional Achievement Awards. The first Regional Achievement Award goes to... Uramunga Township by CUSP, Queensland. Uramunga Township, while small in size, plays an essential role as an outback tourism destination. This project is important for the town's community in terms of offering an opportunity to be heard and to influence the town's future. To have a town's master plan guided by landscape architects is a significant investment. The project's core principles have been developed with the understanding that improving tourism to the town must also improve daily life. The project strengthens the attractions and amenities of the town, fostering local economic development and improving livability. 
it will be a valuable project for years to come. The second Regional Achievement Award goes to Batemans Bay Waterfront Master Plan and Activation Strategy by Inspiring Place. The Batemans Bay Waterfront Master Plan and Activation Strategy brought council and community together to envisage alternative solutions for the waterfront. The landscape architects have thoroughly considered funding and policy strategies and have served as facilitators, the champions of community ideas and as the drivers of action plans for the project. The project included multiple workshops with council and business leaders and walk and talks events with the wider community and shop owners that aim to illustrate the potential of a foreshore transformation. The value of the landscape architect's role in offering fresh angles on a site's potential that challenge perceptions is evident here. The next Regional Achievement Award goes to Kaju Yatka, Kalbari Skywalk by Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions. Kaju Yatka enables an unforgettable experience of the landscape of the Murchison River, an experience like no other. Central to the project is the delivery of a visitor's centre and new skywalk that is cantilevered over the gorge's edge to provide a platform for truly absorbing the landscape. Cultural messages by the Nanda traditional owners is embedded throughout the site, providing visitors with an understanding of the Nanda's past and ongoing connection to country and culture. This is an exemplar regional project that provides a world-class national park experience and cements Kalbari as a major tourism destination on the global scale. The final Regional Achievement Award goes to Barossa Adventure Station by Bird's Eye Studios. This bespoke play and open space park is an exceptional example of a community asset which the community will benefit from for the foreseeable future. Multi-level terrain cleverly integrates play elements with a natural and curated landscape resulting in a space that intersects the natural with the industrial. Art is embedded into the site in unexpected ways, encouraging people to interact with the environment. The project provides passive and active recreational opportunities that foster community connectivity and provide safe, accessible and engaging spaces to gather. The station is a space for everyone. The final award to be announced is the National President's Award. Generally awarded to a member of AILA at the discretion of the board, the President's Award may be given to a non-member who has shown commitment and support for landscape architecture in Australia. This contribution may be in the form of financial, organisational, political and or media support that increases the profile and capability of landscape architecture. To announce the 2021 National President's Award is AILA's President, Claire Martin. This year, the AILA Board has awarded the President's Award to Pamela Conrad in recognition of her global leadership in the development of the Pathfinder Landscape Carbon Calculator app, which will help to build the capacity of Australian landscape architects to deliver climate positive design. Congratulations, Pamela. The app helps landscape architects, including those in Australia, to understand how to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions embodied within or produced by projects and how to increase their sequestration capacity. It will be an invaluable tool in the implementation of AILA's Climate Positive Design Member Action Plan. Based in the United States, Pamela is a passionate landscape architect, advocate and communicator who has collaborated with AILA on the refinement of Pathfinder through the International Federation of Landscape Architects, or IFLA, Climate Change Working Group, and on the development of IFLA's Commitment to Climate Action Statement. We thank and commend Pamela for her leadership. Here to accept the award from the US is Pamela Conrad. Thank you, Australian Institute of Landscape Architects. I am truly honoured and accept this award on behalf of all the landscape architects around the world that are making climate action a top priority. I accept on behalf of the collective that is challenging the status quo to improve our business as usual. It is you and the work that we do every day that is our greatest asset. It is with the self-awareness from Climate Positive Design and the Pathfinder app that we can begin to scale up our positive impacts 
and join other world leaders at the table that are providing the solutions to the climate crisis. Well, this wouldn't be possible without the dedicated team members from Climate Positive Design Team, especially my husband and the unsung hero, Greg Barger, and our Australian team members, including Damian Holmes, Aidan Weiss, and Tyler Maisano, CMG Landscape Architecture, Landscape Architecture Foundation, and all of our supporters and advisory partners, including AILA, which includes members Claire Martin, Martin O'Day, James Hader, and Verity Campbell. So thank you and keep going. This is just the beginning and now is the time to take climate action. That concludes the 2021 AILA National Landscape Architecture Awards. Congratulations to the winners and nominees. A special thanks to the National Jury for volunteering their time to award this year's winners and thank you to everyone for joining us for this special online event.